Welcome to the How To Guide DSM Synology on a Home Built PC. Here's a short list of what we need in order to get this done. We need to get the boot image, the software, and the Synology Assist, as well as the Win32 disk image, and also an external media device of a USB thumbstick, four gigabytes or higher, just to be safe. First, go to the XP Synology website. Go to the boot image tab, then click on this link here. This part is very important. Make sure to click on the image, not the ISO. Next is to download the DSM software. Please note to make sure that both versions of the boot image and the software match or else you'll run into issues down the road. Next thing to do is to go to the Synology website to download the Synology Assist. Where it says select type, just click on the other. To download the latest link. Okay, one of the last things you need is the Win32 Disk Imager. Just Google it and download and install the program. Here you want to open up the Win32 Disk Imager find the image that we downloaded earlier and make sure to write to your USB thumb drive. Now you want to remove the USB, plug it into your server, power it on, then in the BIOS set the USB to be the first boot device, then reboot and then be ready when you see this screen, you want to select install slash upgrade. Next thing to do is go back to your PC, install and start Synology Assistant, and then follow along in this video. After you have launched the Synology Assistant, a Windows browser should pop up. You want to close that and instead right click on disk station, then hit install. Use whatever password you're comfortable with. And you can name the server anything you choose. One thing to note, if you leave create a Synology hybrid RAID checked, it will set the drives as RAID 1. You can change this down the road if you choose. I would highly suggest to set your own IP address. This will make it into a static IP in your network. The installation should take about five minutes or so. Once the installation is finished, click on the login link. A browser window should pop up. Put in your login credentials. This part is very important. You do not want the system to automatically update from the Synology website. So there you have it. Synology is installed on your home built PC. I hope this how to guide was easy to follow along. And please feel free to share this video and thank you very much for watching.